They're, they're coming. They're gonna get me. They're coming. The end is nigh. It is coming. The end is nigh. It is coming. The, the end is nigh. It is coming. The end is nigh. It is coming. Hey guys, it's Jeeves. Just wanted to give you a heads up. There is static while we're speaking in the intro and outro of the video. I think it's either stereo smearing or broadband noise. You won't hear it during the game, but just thought I'd let you know and apologize. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Shrady. And my name is Jeeves P. Bunny. And welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be playing a game called SCP Unity. Now, we were going to play a game called SCP Containment Breach, but it turns out that uh, it doesn't work very well on our computer. It runs at about 15 frames per second, maybe less than that. Yeah, our computer was begging us to stop. Uh, con considering this game is like, what, what, 10 years old, maybe older than that? S maybe seven years old? I, I, I honestly don't know how old it's. it's I just it's watch, a, you know. It's a pretty old game, uh, uh, and our computer should be able to handle it. I don't know what's going on. Probably some sort of compatibility issue with our PC, but either way. So now we're going to be playing SCP Unity, which is an unfinished remake of, of SCP Containment Breach. A couple of things I wanted to mention. Um, we want to give a massive shout out to our patron, Doug J. Dempsey. Yes. Um, he's the one who suggested this game, and this is why we're playing it. So this video is dedicated to him. And um, also, SCP Unity was canceled the official release date and you know the finishing the project essentially was canceled and yeah. the reason that was is because i'm i'm assuming he was the lead dev or the lead on the project or something um he had health issues and he prioritized his health over finishing the game which you should always do yes definitely um and but however but however that's redundant however um, the rest of the team who was working on SCP Unity has gotten together and formed Project Athon, um, who is going to be work on um, better experiences with individual SCPs. Right. So instead of like SCP Containment Breach or SCP Unity, where they just they put all a bajillion all different SCPs all in the same game and try right. to get you know they're as going much to, horror as possible. They're going to do video or games with one SCP at a time. Right. Um, and that's as far as we know. We actually don't know how that project is going too well. Um, we just did that research today and figured that out. Um, if you don't know, SCP stands for Secure, Contain, Protect. Um, and it's essentially different supernatural entities that harm people, that right. can or cannot harm people in one facility. And there's tons of information on it. There's an SCP website. There's oh, a the, the wiki is huge. Yeah, the wiki's gigantic. Um, they're all based on, basically, they're, they're horror characters, yeah, they're you horror know. Characters. They're trying to make you scared, which um, it works sometimes. But as I was trying to finish my thought, I will leave a link to their Discord in the description. We're not entirely sure how welcoming it will be to newer members or newer fans of SCP, so proceed with caution. And also, if you want to play SCP Unity, uh, that game is free for download, so I'll get, uh, that link will be in the description as well. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new, subscribe as long as you enjoy the content. We would very much appreciate it. And uh, yeah, this intro's eh, classically long, so no big deal there. So <laughs> let's I'm get into it. Cut some of this out, to be honest. Yeah, probably, you probably should <laughs> cut that part out. And that part as well. I hit the mic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving that part in. No! I look like a fool! <laughs> Are you 
<laughs> okay, turn the volume back up. Save that. Into the game. I'm gonna leave this blank. Player uh, name Shreves. <laughs> Shreves. Leave blank from random seed. Type your office key to save it here. What is an office key? Poop. Don't <laughs> Aww, Good, okay. good. I'm glad that didn't work. All right, lore, lore friendly, friendly mode. mode. I guess that's fine, right? We would like to learn the lore, yes. SCP-1762-1 is a plain cardboard box. The words, here be dragons, are handwritten in black permanent marker. SCP-1762-2 is the collective term applied to beings that emerge from SCP-1762-1. All instances of SCP-1762-2 bear resemblance to various types of dragons, albeit in forms similar to that of the origami models. It just reminds me of, of Harry Potter. Here be dragons! I you sounded more like a pirate. That was, that was more of a pirate. I, I, I don't know. However, Hagrid talks. Okay. Let's get into it. Oh, actually, you know, Hagrid kind of talks like a pirate. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Okay. That's a lot of wind that just passed by our ears. <laughs> yeah, that was very loud in my head, so I gotta take one off. So okay. Okay. We've got two hands. Two hands, indeed. Two hands is good. Look at the fine two wrinkles on that hand. <laughs> okay, all right, good. There's a dead guy there. Light uh, containment zone sub level zero two. Oh, by the way, I don't think we mentioned it, but we have never played any of the SCP games. Nope. We've never played any SCP game or read anything about them, really. Uh, I have. I have. I had in the past, but it's been a long time. Warning. Security clearance required level 3, SCP-173, Euclid. Euclid, hazardous, hazardous anomaly, sentient, sentient and, and violent. violent. Ooh, I can zoom my eyeballs. <laughs> Alright, what's this guy doing? I don't know. Hey, man. Getting the CSGO Call of Duty <laughs> treatment. <laughs> Get wrecked, scrub! <laughs> Let me just zoom in to make sure he's dead. Yeah, yeah, uh, looks pretty dead. Yeah, I mean, could be, could be. Could, could be. also be not even a real person, because he doesn't seem to react to me stepping on him. <laughs> well, yeah, if he's dead, he's not gonna... Yeah, I feel, like, I feel like he would shift <laughs> yeah. a little bit, though, you know? Oh, yeah, he, he shifted, shifted, he shifted. He shifted, he's definitely okay. real. 110% real, real. That body's not gonna be there when we get back. Hello? Uh, so... <laughs> I don't know what the backstory is here. There's a door downstairs. Yeah, we can go downstairs. I want to check this locker first, though, because it seems like there's probably something in here, you know? Do I have a flashlight? Whoa, it's dark. Yeah. Just so you know, like, this is extremely dark for us, so if it's dark for you, you're not alone. SCP-173 document. Okay, I have taken that and put it in my codex. Containment protocol. SCP secure contain protect. Clearance level 2. Item number SCP-173. Object class Euclid. Special containment procedures. Can SCP- I, Can we read this somewhere else? <laughs> the noise. Okay, alright, alright. <laughs> head out. I wouldn't oh! head- uh, Yeah, oh, that was- I was gonna okay, say I wouldn't okay, head in there okay. just yet. Okay, that was probably okay, a very okay. bad idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Alright, that, that's good. We could- <laughs> SCP-173 is a concrete sculpture of unknown origin measuring 2.0 meters tall and weighing approximately 468 He's a kilograms. Thick boy. Dick. <laughs> uh, the statue is vaguely humanoid in shape, although improperly proportioned. Traces of Krylon brand spray paint are found on the statue's upper body resembling a face. SCP-173 consists of multiple individual concrete portions joined by steel reinforcing bars. The two Appendages projecting from the upper section of the sculpture consists of exposing and tangled reinforced exposed and tangled reinforcing bars where the concrete has disintegrated. When SCP-173 is left unobserved and line of sight is broken by a conscious being, the object becomes animate, moving at speeds documented between 60 and 90 kilometers per hour. Holy shit. Ooh, the mechanism for its locomotion is not known at this time. Personnel assigned to either its containment chamber area to enter its containment chamber area are instructed to alert one another before blinking to avoid complete loss of visual contact. 
It is unknown if SCP-173 is intelligent or sapient. However, the object is extremely hostile and will attempt to kill any human that enters its containment chamber if left unobserved. The sculpture is capable of manipulating the steel rebar to attack its victims where it will attempt to snap the neck at the base of the skull or strangle the victim to death. Well, that's a whole lot of stuff that I didn't know and now wish I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, do have a stamina meter down there. Okay, so I'm assuming don't go in there. That's, we don't want to go there. I mean, there. we can. We just have to maintain. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God, run. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm going, buddy. I'm going. Oh, Jesus Christ. I was oh, not Christ. expecting that. Close oh, the door. No. Oh, no, no, we're going Keep this running. way. Keep oh, running. Keep running. Oh, I'm out of stamina. I'm out of stamina. Oh. Ah. Don't look back. Oh, God. Oh, he's coming in. He's coming in. I don't know why I jumped, but Jesus. He's in here. Oh, what are we doing? Oh, Toggle God. Toggle blast. Doors, toggle blast doors. Where, where, where? Over there, to the right. You just went in front of it. There. He's and I in guess here. you're you're gonna have to go. You're gonna have to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, down there through the blast door. I can't. That's a glass. It's oh. glass. God. Oh my lord. Wait up. Okay. Oh. oh, there's uh, there's uh, there are two different guys. They're two oh, different guys. Oh no. This oh. is this is very this all happened so fast. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, god. <laughs> Get out of there. Close the door, bro. Jesus. Oh, he's, he's got me. Run. He's oh, got no. me. I'm dead. Oh god, we're screwed. Wait, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay. It's a okay. mist. The mist okay. is coming. Whew. Okay, this oh, guy's always oh, coming okay. through the stairs. So, how is he upstairs and downstairs at the same time? I do not know. That is a good what question. What is happening? I'm stuck I, again. I know the, where the we mist has gotten I know where me. we have to go, and I think you do too. Where? Oh, the potato room? The potato room. And by the way, if you guys have ever seen SCP, like the original like, okay, design he's gone. of it, he's gone. it looks like a baby doll carved out of a potato with a gigantic head. The mist is still like all over the floor, though. So this is. Oh, he moved. Oh. Okay, I I don't I don't want to do. Oh, there it is. Okay, so the blink so meter comes up when oh, he's. it's it's going down. In the room. It's going down. Yeah, I got to blink. That goes down so fast. Yeah. All right, just blink and and just run. Keep an eye on him and run. I, I, I lost him as soon as I opened the door. Maybe that was meant to happen. Wait, what is this? Emergency first aid. I mean, we never got. Oh, it's it giving up. me bandages. Okay, I took all the bandages. I don't know how to use them, but... Okay, can somebody turn that freaking thing off? Maybe there's a, a file in here? Yeah, there's gotta be something in here. We haven't been able to, like, look. Well, yeah. And there's... No more creepy music, but definitely ominous sounds. Ominous sounds. I do not like the sound of the dot .mp3 or whatever that played when we got in here. It's spooky. What is the point of these blast doors? I guess so they can look in at it and observe, you know, they're scientists. Is it supposed to be in here? Oh. And that's where SCP-173 is supposed to be. Right, so it is not there anymore. Somebody hey, was eating. Hey, that's hot food. That's like legit hot food. Well, you know, SCP-173 probably popped in. See, that that there, the potato yeah. that says don't blink, that's the original design of it. Yeah. There, I'm, a, I'm a little upset that I have to listen to this fucking... Well, if you go in the room. I know, I know. I don't want to. You want to play? You want to go in there? I'll go in. Okay, do it. Give it here. Manually blink is space. Space bar, yeah. And uh, run is shift. Yes. Okay. But you have stamina in the bottom left. Yes, I'm aware. Okay. You got to keep looking at him, though. Oh. <laughs> that was so fast. I couldn't even open the door. He says he runs at 90 kilometers per hour. How are we supposed to open the door if we can't even look away to do it? You gotta keep him... Because if you blink, he'll come towards you, but if you open your eyes, he'll be closer, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe keep your eyes on him and then like position it to where when you blink, he comes over that way, and then that, I, I don't know, get him to no. move into a position where you can look at the door. You can try it. Be my guest. Okay, we forgot to quick save, so we're going to have to do all that again. Oh, well, we'll get it out for you guys. Yeah. Okay. 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 I'll take that. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's close that, just in case. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay, we got this. Oh, it's a different room. What? Yeah. Like oh, he's in here. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> You it happened so fast. <laughs> That's oh, what I yeah. said. Oh, he's in here. 
Okay, it's fine. We got this. We got this. We got. We can do it. Uh, where the fuck was he though? Where was he? He was just in the room. There he is. That's the guy. That's the. That's the Frank. Yep. That's good old Frank. Scaring people. Okay. Frank, right. that's not funny anymore. All right, I gotta figure this out. Like what? Okay, he's not in this room. Okay. As when the are, blink are when sure? the blink meter comes up, you'll know if he's in the room. Yeah. Right. But I'm still unsure. Like, uh, I, okay, he's not here. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Why isn't he here this time? It's like you said, randomly generated. This was this no. This is the same seed though, because I saved it on the seed. Oh yeah, yeah. So it should be. Oh, uh, save maybe, it now. Save it now. Oh yeah, got a good point. Okay. Okay, we're good. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right. Uh, I don't I, like that noise. I, I what should was that? I should probably not close doors behind me so quickly until I find out if there's a fucking demon potato in the room. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. This is all curling around into a circle. Okay, he's not in here. Okay. Oh, there's oh, the potato. In here. Okay. 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 Uh, uh, let's, close the door. Let's, yeah, let's close that. Oh, there he is. Okay, wait, what if we get him in this room and then continue over to that room, you know? Uh, can't he open doors? No. Are you sure? Pretty pretty sure. Because I think when I, well... I'm pretty sure. Because the blink thing is still happening. Yeah, but I think we're fine. I think we got to get him into this room. So what I'm going to do is open this door. And run backwards. Yes. And I'm going to blink. Blink again. You, you got too close. Got too close. My turn. Okay. God, that's like, that's legitimately hard. terrifying. It's so hard. It's not even just the hard part. It's like actually terrifying. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's pretty scary. <laughs> the fact that there's a blink meter, like you don't blink any other time. Right. Like if you look at this game, you don't blink never any other time. But as ever. soon as he's in the room, you're like, it's like the character is hyper aware of his eyeballs. Okay, that was a notification. We I don't think, know who did what, but... I, I think somebody probably subscribed, because it's Streamlabs. I never turned the notification sound off. Thank you for subscribing! <laughs> uh, this is probably to my Pokemon Go channel, but you should subscribe to this channel. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think he's in that room. No, it's the next yeah, one. Yeah. He might not even be in the next room Oh, anymore. yeah, that's true. That's true. I'm gonna... No, I'm gonna leave that open. In case we need to run real far. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Good, potato. Good. So he was in that room, so I, I don't know. I don't know how they decide where the enemies like respawn when you load a save. So. Potato. If I step through these doors and there's a blink meter. Okay. I, I think you're good. I think I'm good. But maybe here. Yeah. It's like the sense of, excuse me, the sense of dread of stepping in each <laughs> into room. a new room. And not being able to see around the corner, like, you don't know if he's in here, but you'll know the minute you enter the door. I heard a bleep. Yeah, I heard that too. Maybe look around, see if there's anything like... Oh, that's, that's something. I hear something coming. Okay, it's the 70 to look around. I mean, I just have a flashlight. The ambient sound, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, bit, it's a bit scary. This game is a lot more intense than I expected it to be, for real. I've seen other people play this game. Well, maybe not Unity, but I've seen other people play contain Containment Breach. I don't know if it's like... Are we just like going in circles? I, I, I... What is that? I don't know, but I don't like that noise. That sounded like labored breathing plus chains dragging along yeah. the floor. Okay. Uh... SCP-650 containment chamber uh, core, core room. room. Should we hit the core room? I mean, I'm kind of curious at what 650 is all about. What if he's bad and Save now we it. have an extra baddie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. F5. But yeah. Yeah. I hit so the yeah, wrong. Now, now if we die, no big deal. You know, who cares? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Alrighty then. No, no, no blink. All right, chamber 13. That's a big red no sign right there. I think you need clearance, maybe? Yeah, clearance for sure. Do not, not open. open service personnel only, so yeah, probably clearance. Yeah, um, but there's two right, doors right, in right, here. Right. I'll, let, I'll let you pick again. Right or left? Uh, right. Hello? Yeah, camera up there. wonder if that's automatic or somebody... No, that's automatic. Yeah, that's gotta be automatic. 
Okay, alright. Oh, there he is! <laughs> oh, God. I did not expect that! Oh, closed doors behind you. Thanks, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. closed doors behind you. You really gotta start expecting that. <laughs> That's gonna get us so many times. I know, I know. I'm just, it's just, I heard the sound, but I didn't expect him to be right next to me. So when I turned and he was there, oh God. You're panicked. I'm panicking. This, it's the creep factor. Like, it's one thing if you just put me in an empty, completely silent, well lit room and then pop something next to me. That's not gonna scare me. But this is in the dark with a bunch of ambient noises that clearly sound like things moving around you. This is advanced horror. This is advanced horror. <laughs> okay, we're back here and we're gonna close this. Cause, you know. Yeah, close know. the doors, close the doors. <laughs> and we're gonna go in here and no potato. Okay. Uh, close the door, yep. All right, so I said right, so let's check out the right. Oh, it's dark. Oh, I don't like it in here. It's very dark. Is that even... Is there is stuff behind me? No, it's just darkness. Okay. okay. All right. Can well, I... Looks like there's nothing in here. Okay. SCP-650. Hazardous anomaly. It's a Euclid. Teleporting object. Oh, I bet this is a guy that came through the wall. It didn't say it was, like, sentient or anything, though. That click was, like, really loud. <laughs> oh! That's it's him! It's a mannequin! Wait, he wasn't there a second ago. What do you mean? Oh, wait, that's not the same. Okay, so that's the door we saw in there. Yeah. Hey, guy. Oh, he looks fine. He can't hurt no one. He ain't even got thumbs. No, yeah, you can't. You don't have thumbs. You <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. That one got you, too. No, that got me. That, that got me. That one got you, too. Uh, uh, is there, like, a paper on him or something? Can I grab that, maybe? Um, eh. Okay, thank you okay. for subscribing. <laughs> He's gone again. Oh, okay. He's so he's a lot like the other SCP that we are. Oh, God, Jesus Christ. Okay, we'll just leave him <laughs> yeah, in there. Goodbye, But goodbye. he can teleport, so he can come in here. He's oh, there. Oh, I do not like this. You know what? Is this, he a threat? This guy, he's fine. Look at him. He got, he's all He's a pose. hazardous anomaly, but is he actually, like, no. threat? I, he I, hasn't I hurt think... us yet. He could have killed us by now, you yeah, know? Like, watch us. this. Yeah, he's, he, he's fine. He's fine. He's a good okay. boy. I, I'm not 100% sure about that, but, you know. Oh, he looks sad. Oh, that's sad. creepy. He looks real sad there. What's wrong, buddy? You okay? He didn't have thumbs. Yeah. He's really sad about not having thumbs. Having that existential crisis. I am a mannequin. I actually saw him teleport that time. Yeah, I, I think, I, like, I, 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 don't know, I don't know. I'm, I'm really just, like, you know, trying to, trying to make myself... Comfortable? Yes. <laughs> Trying to, like, yeah. not freak out. Oh, 650. 650. SCP-650 is a black statue of a stylized humanoid 167 centimeters tall. The statue does not possess hands or facial features. The limbs taper off into rounded points, and the head is smooth. Okay, we read this already. Yes. Default posture while under observation has been the statue reaching upwards, head tilted as if facing the sky. If the statue is not being observed, it will reclude... Oh my god. If the statue is not being Hard observed, read, it? it will relocate itself to a point immediately behind whomever is the containment site. Is in the containment, is in the containment site. site and assume a threatening posture. The relocation point and posture are typically close enough to induce an automatic fight or flight response in the observer <laughs> once they turn around and see it. However, it should be noted that the SCP has not yet shown any signs of active aggression or hostility. Its purpose does not seem to be to attack, but merely to startle. The reason Bruh. for this is unknown, and further testing is, yes, motives. Motives are unknown. So he's a jerk. He's a freaking. Oh! Run! <laughs> okay, that guy. We know that guy. Yeah, we know I, that I don't, guy. I don't, I don't, he's oh, bad. Okay, oh, okay, okay, um, right, okay. Uh, oh, run. what do I do? Go through that one. I'm gonna die. Yeah, you're gonna die. Um, oh, I'm oh, down. Oh, okay, yeah, you're okay dead. you know what? Just kill me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, did you save at any point? No. <laughs> but we didn't, we, we're still right in front of the SCP-650 door. What the fuck? SCP-178 is a pair of white stere stereoscopic 3D glasses with a rectangular white cardboard frame and lenses of transparent blue and red, left and right lenses, respectively. Plastic. Wh the item exhibits no unusual physical properties apart from a slight discoloration of the cardboard consistent with age. Why is it showing a picture of this guy? Who is that guy? That's the SCP. No, it's the scary. It's these. It's no, the no, I mean, white stereoscopic glasses. I mean, like. 
Maybe, uh... I don't know. The threat level is low, so, you know. Yeah. That guy doesn't look like he's got a low threat level. No, but... I mean, he might. He could be friendly, you don't know. True. Hey, Jeff. You know, we, we thought the mannequin guy was an asshole at first. Oh, that's, he's still, that's he's the still, mannequin he's room. still an asshole. Okay. I don't know, that one time he looked pretty sad. So... So let's go this way. That's where we came from. Okay. Uh, so let's go this way. I don't... Yeah, maybe... Uh, should we leave all the doors open? I mean... I don't know. Like, I, honestly, I, I don't know. I don't I know just, what's I'm the best. Gonna, yeah, I don't either. It's really kind of a... Knowing that the potato can can not go through closed doors, though, is, is good information. Really? Because he got... Yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, he definitely, like, finds his way around, but I think once you're... Like, once you lock him in a room, I think he's stuck in there until he decides oh, to respawn somewhere. I don't somewhere. like this at all. Yeah, this looks a like lot a of... fairly big room with a lot of corners. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, save please it. Don't, yeah, please don't let him be in here. Well, if it's not him, it might be somebody else. Okay. Okay, I don't like... Oh, I don't like these automatic lights. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Okay, it's like a comfortable office. That door does not look like it can stop an SCP, though. Uh, I don't know. I just heard something open, so I'm going to close that. The windows are still open in this room, though. There's a lot of windows. Shut, shut up. You're scaring the pants off me. Save that for later. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. All right. I was not expecting this game to be this scary. <laughs> okay, Stop, okay, we're gonna have to. Okay, I can, right, I can fix on, it. It's just, it's just. All right. So it's, Deep breath. Oh, you saved it. Okay. You got this, Jeeves. You got this. I'm afraid to go through literally any door. Well, those doors are All locked. All locked. Oh, okay. Is that right, a crowbar so, or something? What is that? Oh, I can't pick it up. Uh, on the box over there, there's a crowbar. Yeah, I don't think I can pick that up either, though. Probably not, but come on, game. Can't even give us a fighting chance. All right. I, this is like, I feel like, of all the horror games, that you can't, you can't fight back. Sound like electricity. Did we come through this room? I think so. Yeah. This we haven't been in this room. Okay, oh God, this, this is a big is, room. Uh, Core. Okay, so we're near the core. Okay. All right, in there. Uh, I don't know. Let's go into the core. I'd probably save before going into yeah, every yeah, room. Yeah, you know what I that's mean? That's a good idea. Because <laughs> very good chance that every room is going to oh, kill I us. I don't like this room. No, that's. I think that is that the core. Yeah, I think this is. The, uh, the core. Maybe there's a... I don't even know how to win this game. Like, do you just run forever? <laughs> I don't think there's a such thing as winning. I don't know. Maybe there is. But... I feel like if there was, John Wolf would have. Yeah. I'm not going in there. I'm John Wolf's on top of all of the horror games. Well, especially SCP. Yeah, he loves that like, game. Yeah, he was all over SCP. SCP-131. Loading new chair. cluster? Please wait. Yeah, it's gonna be a new seed, I guess. Okay, so SCP-131. You... Okay, SCP-131 containment chamber. 1762. 1762, that's the box. And state offices. Okay, well, we can do some exploring. All right, but if I get scared one more time, it's your turn. Okay. <laughs> well, why did you get freaked out about it loading a new cluster? It's just like, because you don't know what's in it. <laughs> That's why. It's like all procedurally generated, isn't right. it? Right, yeah, yeah. All right, I want to save. Oh, I do not like... Does that make that sound every time you save? Uh, what sound? Watch. That's oh, it. yeah, okay. Potato! Oh, there's an open door over there. I think. Is that no? That's that's closed. I think. Yeah, I think it's closed. Okay. Well. All right. So let's see what's over here. Seventeen sixty-two containment chamber. So that's the and box. And staff offices. That's the box. I think. It's seventeen sixty-two one. 
is the box. 131. All right, which which one do you want to check out? 131 or 1762? Uh, I mean, I feel like we could go find some dragons, you know? All right, all right. I'm curious, because I feel like that one's yeah. probably not going to be as, Evil. you know... Yeah, Sentient. well, volatile, I guess, is the yeah, word I was volatile. looking for. I feel like if we find some dragons, it might, it might be kind of cool. You know, some origami dragons come flying out and, uh, you know, they give us some flowers and... They're hostile, you know. Well, yeah, but they might be nice. You might, that might be, like, hostily nice. That's not even a word, but, uh, you know. You never know. Uh, that's... Didn't like that noise. I don't know why, I just didn't <laughs> like it. Meow. Can't open this I door. bet there's a key in the toilet. I, I know my horror games. Hello. Grab the poop. Ah, uh, just grime. <laughs> just throw poop at SCP-173. <laughs> Take this, you stone bastard. <laughs> I really don't like how dark it is in this little corridor. Yeah. Okay. I just... Oh, there's some running water. That's good. Yep, yep, Sink yep. is running. Can turn it off? I have a feeling that somebody's going to be behind the bathroom door there. Yeah, I, uh, I do have a feeling that something. Oh, you can't be. open it, so that's good. Right? Oh, you can't open it. Okay. The sound design in this game is, like, surprisingly on point. good. It's freaking on point. If you guys have headphones, uh, I mean, you should be able to... Uh, beware of the screams. Yeah, we might yell. We might scream. <laughs> he calls it yelling. I call it succumbing to fear. Five. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get in the habit of that. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, that's All right. uh. Um, door, door seems to be locked. Seems to be and locked won't and open. Won't open. Okay. Well, I'm gonna. Let's run through the electric field. What does that say containment? Contain oh, so there's probably an SCP behind there that can't come out because of the electricity. Okay. What does that note say on the door? Site 48 advisory notice. Following the disastrous security event last August. The administration of Site-48 has decided to update the facility's security protocol accordingly. It has been observed that some security personnel have been found on the premises without their issued RFID security cards. Furthermore, their fellow staff have allowed them into restricted areas. Please note that it is mandatory for all Foundation personnel to have their valid security passes at all times while on Foundation-owned property. Granting access to restricted areas to fellow colleagues is not per permitted and those who are found to be in violation of Foundation security pro protocol will be recommended. Personnel who have lost, misplaced, or otherwise are not in possession of their security passes or expired the val validity of their security passes are advised to apply for replacement cards in a prescribed form at the main security office located at on sub-level 1. We saw that. Okay, so By basically... By order of the authority, Frederick Holland, head of security, ARC Site 48. So basically, it's just saying, like people were fucking around and not having their security cards and letting people into places they shouldn't be and also there's uh maybe maybe a security card we can pick up and, and what uh, was in there? the security office at, on the sub level one is that I where we woke up no i don't think so that was the containment chamber for 173 oh We haven't gone this way, right? Um, I don't think so. The one that we're about to come up on, not this one, but the next one, uh, we haven't been through that door. Okay. Well, have we been through this door right here? I didn't go in that room, remember? It's just a big dark room. Oh, yeah. It's kind of cool, though. I bet you there's something in here. Ooh, the music is swelling. Okay, this is dope. I feel like a secret agent or something. <laughs> All the lights turned on for me. Look at this big ass room. Okay, can I? I can swear, I, uh, the sound design of this game is. It's really fun. good. It's so chef's good. kiss. I don't understand what I'm. Why am I here? I, f I feel. I feel like there's like maybe we gotta come back here when we like. Maybe we'll. Maybe there's the elevator is on the bottom floor and we'll ride the elevator up. To like escape. Uh, I don't know why, but to just bring the elevator up there more likely. I think I came into this one, so let's 
I don't even, I don't think you're right, to be honest. I have well, no idea which door you came from. Couldn't be wrong. I just know where we've been. Okay, I was right. Okay, yeah. so that's where we came from. Yeah. And you said the door around this way is one we haven't been in? Right. We okay. went in the other door to the left, but not this one. Yeah. And we also didn't go in one of the doors on the other side. Okay. For the for that one SCP. 914 and 1499 and secure storage. What new horrors shall await us in this room? Oh, it's a hallway. That's pretty nice. Yep. You nice see surprise. everything in the hallway. Yeah, Good. hallways are great. Yes, hallways are the best part of this game. What the hell is this? Non-potable? Non-potable. Potable. Don't pot this. Oh, okay. Hello. Goodbye. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you've got to go in there, you know. <laughs> I don't have to. I don't have to go in oh, there. Oh, he's in the room. Oh. No, I, I closed oh, the door. just blinked. Okay, we're not going that way yet. <laughs> oh my god. 131, 131 is the one we haven't been in. Okay. Well, then that's where we're going. <laughs> I have decided for no other particular reason other than I just want to check out 131. You know? That's why. <laughs> not because I'm afraid of some walking rebar guy. <laughs> the fuck, you think I'm crazy? Walk walking potatoes. Okay. Can I have this? Emergency. Yes, yes, it's an emergency. Hello? Okay, that did nothing. I have nightmares about french fries for weeks. <laughs> Alright. You can't be here! You can't do that! You're not... Was... That's illegal. That is... Ill you gotta go one way or the other. Well, I think I feel like going this way, you know? It's just something spur of the moment type of... You know how I am. I'm, I'm very finicky and flaky, so... Uh, I decided at the last second to cancel my plans and go the other way. Stupid fucking potato. Has nothing to do with the potato, by the way. I just want. Oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way. I am upset. You can't wait till the potato closes in on you. Oh, he's. <laughs> and then you're stuck in this room with him. Yeah, that's. Because he keeps that's going be back rough. and forth, and he's just going to keep moving forward. That's. I don't. How. Is he. I'm not. Oh, I don't like this. Alright, we're saving again. <laughs> Okay, no potato, no potato, hot potato, no potato. Give me no potato. All right, no potato. All right, and no potato, no potato. All right. Okay, so we got uh, SCP-1499 containment and secure storage, and then we have 914. We can go check them out. Well, we got secure storage in here as well, so we got you know a twofer. I'm assuming the, the key cards are probably supposed to be in a designated room, you know? They're well, in, in security, right? Uh, I think that security. was for that was for the level one security clearance is in security room. Oh, 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 okay. So, yeah, we're good. Yep, just go ahead and decontaminate, please. Thank you. That tastes good. Tasty. Okay. And you can't close that door. No, can't. Oh, oh, okay, okay. That's God, fine. that sound. Yeah, it's a, it's a deaf It gets me. Like, these headphones oh, are man. so good, too. Oh, wait, we can come in here and that'll and then the block them off for two seconds? Open, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, um, what, what do I do? One way or the other. You can't just keep skipping around. I know, I know. Okay, God damn it. Look, <laughs> I get the point. We're, we're decontaminated, okay? We are clean AF. No kidding. We're probably inhaling lots of fumes at this point. Okay, well, how do them. I... Is he... Is he... Okay, no, he is sorry. in there. Sorry. Okay. Alright. How do? How do? Okay, so... I would... Bring him to this side of the room. And then while paying attention... Where's right the... around him. Back up to a door. Where are the doors? Is it there's on the left one, and the there's right? There's one over here, and I think there's one to the left. I don't know if there's one to the right. I don't think... Because, like, if you think about it, in order to open the door, I have to turn towards the wall. Bring... Wait, wait. Bring him into this room. Mm. And then walk... Oh! Oh, God! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> okay. I did not expect that. Oh, he can walk through walls. Can, but will he is the question. It doesn't matter. There He's he is. here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. You, okay. Run, okay. run. Oh, oh there he is. hey, oh, bud. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. He's just hey, gonna bud. have to outrun okay. him. Okay. Yep, yep. We're good. My health is getting. The, it's, hey, 69. Nice. Hey, you stop that. He's just 
He's just he's chugging just, along. Yeah, he don't give a shit. Nonchalantly. Oh, come on, man. Co oh, come on. This is not fair. Oh, he's slowing me down. Okay. Can you even close that oh, door? Oh, God. Come on, man. You know what? Look. What oh, are you doing? He's bowling. Left, he's bowling. Left. Okay, he bowled at me. Okay, I'm stuck. Okay, he's just gonna kill me. I got no health left. <laughs> oh, I actually do have some health. Right. If I if I don't die here, the potato's one thousand percent gonna 1, kill me. One thousand percent. That potato wanted you. Come on, this guy butt. wants me. Okay. Oh yeah, this guy is like aggressively coming after okay, you. Okay, the music stopped, right? Where so that's are we? good. I have no fucking idea. I was just How running. How did we even get here? I thought we Horse. knew all the rooms so far. Horse fine, rough. Okay, that does does nothing right now. What did you just do? You didn't even want to check before you did it? What do you mean? You didn't even want to check what you were doing before you did it? I mean, uh, one object at a time. Unless combining multiple objects, only put one object in SCP-914. This is oh, 914. this is an SCP. Okay, is there any files around here to, like, tell us what's up? Yeah, okay. What do we got? Look at instructions. H2O. SCP-914 gas experiment. So H2O... One, one, to one, one, yeah, one to one ratio. H, H. So it breaks oh. down the molecules into individual molecules. Okay. And then this says something fine. fine. Yeah, so like this says fine here. Okay. That says something else. Fine. Do I not think. erase. There's a lot of this erase where right. it's not supposed to have been erased. So helium turns into NE. What is NE? What that? That's AG. This is any. Oh, so okay. Helium. Not water okay. turns into helium, essentially, right? And then helium turns into argon. <laughs> and then that turns into argon. Do not erase. Uh, this is not helpful, by the way. Um, yeah, we are not. Yeah, we're not like. Can I? Science. Can I pick this up? Nerds. Take empty H two O canister. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Give me all of them. How do I fill use them? Fill up your inventory, Jesus. How do I use this stuff? It's empty. You gotta fill it up. Okay. Okay. Here we go. I'll take that. Yeah, this is it. like such a like crazy machine to just put water <laughs> in a container. It, you know what it looks like? It looks like a giant water cooler. It does. <laughs> it, and it is. Alright, we'll refill all these. I don't know what the fuck the point of this is, but we're gonna do it. Wait a second. H2O. Breaks down into... Oh, we did it wrong. Okay, I, uh, all right. See, it says one to one. The first one didn't say fine. Oh, so, so we gotta put one it... in each side. No. Go over. On here, there's a thing for one to one. Oh, yes. So if you put H2O in there, whatever comes out the other end is, is what we're gonna any... need to move on with this experiment that we're doing right now. Right, okay. And that will give us, take the two hydrogens and, and, put, then and do, make, yeah. fuse them and that'll make a helium. And then the helium with the oxygen and that'll make whatever NE is. And then two NEs with a one to one ratio equals AR. Hydrogen, oh, hydrogen, oxygen, and oh, hydrogen. Oh, yes, two okay. hydrogens and an oxygen. Now take, so now the, I two gotta take the two hydrogens and mix them as fine. Right. We are doing some science, boys. Science. Science. Hell yeah. All right, now we gotta do this at fine. fine. Yep. Oh, this, I left the, oh no, I picked it up. Yeah, you picked it up. Oxygen. You good? Oxygen looks like it's useless. Oh wait, no, I gotta no, combine yeah, helium gotta and oxygen to make the nigga good. That should be the helium. There we go. Helium. We're making progress. Okay, helium and oxygen. Okay. Let me just double check. Helium. Oxygen. Oxygen fine. fine. Yep. And it's still on fine. Yep. And that's gonna make uh, and a thing. E or N C, whatever that is. If it's we N C, we will figure it out when it comes out. Yeah. It is. Neon. neon. That's how did I not remember neon? It's okay. one of the neon gases. Back to the board. Uh, Two neons 
where the one to one ratio. Oh, this is gonna take forever. Is AR. So just make another one. We'll cut this out. <laughs> we'll we'll get to the good stuff. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm just waiting for one of these times the door is gonna open and there's gonna be some sort of monster that pops out at us. <laughs> now put the two okay. neons on a one to one ratio. Right. Well, yeah, cause it's like fine, scratched out, and then it says one, one to, to one. one. So exactly. we're making argon. I don't know why we're making argon, but we are making argon. Yep. I don't understand why though. What, why are we doing this? Neon and, and neon. neon. Okay. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna save it. a quick. big payoff. One to one. It's just gonna be a freaking monster. No, it's gonna be a tub of argon. It's gonna be a container full of argon. And well, I'm, I don't know we're not gonna is. know what to do with it. All right, we got some argon. Okay. okay. All right. We made argon. Now, um, I feel like we should keep that. Yeah, probably. I feel like that'll be useful at some other time other than now. Is Wait, there's there more stuff left? here. H2O, heavy water. 2H2O, 2H2 plus 1O2. I'm gonna be honest. I feel like we we're done with the science stuff right now. <laughs> I mean, we can do all this if you want, but. Very fine H2, some type of explosive liquid, helium gas with very loud density. Do Low not density. inhale. Low density. I want. I want to inhale that. Why? I mean, come on. It, 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 yeah, aren't you? The Darwin Award goes to. Look, I'm in a video game right now. Okay, I'm allowed to be stupid. Okay, there's an oxygen, there's some oxygen. I guess I'll take that. Who cares? I got big pockets, you know. <laughs> Just carrying the canisters around in your cargo pants. I really f I want to make the explosive gas. Where is the explosive? H2, very fine. How do I make H2? 2H2O two equals on one to one. 2H2 and 1O2. Oh, so H2 is just hydrogen. Mm -hmm. So we just put hydrogen in on very fine. Wait, we haven't gotten in here yet. Touch duck. Touch the duck. Oh, wait, I don't know. Okay, wait, read the SCP, but document, document two. It's the do document. The document two. Read it. Yeah, we're reading the hell out of that one. The ducks. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Log of anomalous ducks. Disco duck. Duck description. Object has the appearance of a duck with a glitter ball like texture. Object appears to be able to emit light without any electrical compartment inside of it. The color of the light is restricted to colors from the purple spectrum. Notes personnel are discouraged to use the object for private parties or recreation of 1970s dances. Duck Duckiplier, it's, that's it's, a mark. Yeah, for sure, because it even says here that it's sporting. An object appears to be a duck sporting features from Mark Edward Fishbach, also known online as Markiplier. Subjects in close proximity to the duck express a strong boost in charisma. <laughs> Effects seem to apply regardless of the emotional state of the subject. X-ray duck. Duck description. Object appears to be a regular plastic duck missing half of its outer layers, revealing an atomic anatomical model of a duck underneath. When held, subjects have described the effects of a visual as a visual distortion that makes reality be perceived in a black and white view. Possible mimetic effect pending investigation. Material analysis concluded that the interior is composed of anatomically correct materials such as bone and tissue. Oh, interesting. That's cool. Yeah. Should Touch I talk it. to Markiplier? Touch duck? It. Wait, Get is this the Markiplier? Duck? Yeah, this is the Markiplier. Markiplier duck. Thank you, good sir. <laughs> I don't, I don't know why. Okay, I, I guess I'm feeling confident. Is it playing the music, or is that in my brain? Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, bye bye. It's good to have a little bit of comedic relief. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Done. Yeah, I just needed uh, the confidence and charisma. And also, I want to make explosive liquids. Do I have two H2s? No, I need hydrogen. Okay, that's too much work. We should end it here, right? Yeah. Okay, well now that we have all the confidence in the world, I think we're gonna call it right about here. Yes, it is awful late. Yeah. I've got a lot of editing ahead of me, so. Yes. 
And also, <laughs> there's there's plenty more to this game though. Like honestly, we, we haven't touched, we haven't scratched, we haven't the, surface. scratched the surface. And, and and the game is not fully complete, but obviously there's a lot to it. And I'm sure some of you guys watching will know way more than we know. So if you have any tips and tricks, leave them in the comments down below. Let us know if you want to play more of this because we can definitely do that. Uh, and there's plenty of other SCP games as well. If you have any recommendations, let us know in the comments. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you leave a like. If you're new to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe as long as you enjoy the content. So thank you for stopping by and we'll see you in the next video. Take it easy. Shout out to my patrons, Billy Braveford, Running Froggy, The North Star, Doug J. Dempsey, Ryan Borowski, Cleric, Dave Adamson, DJ Mimsy, Clapton Caveman, King Edward, NZ Tech Freak, Austin Gustavik, Darkstone, Moach, Mr. Cookout, Brandon, Kodiak Jenkins, Vintage Kish, Mitsukata, Kit Gulak, Edward O'Neill, Senor Stacks, Grizzinator, Winterfang, Lord of the Azimbabwe, Daniel Timms, Ray Rafik, Braden Seidel, Trey, and Ankle Weights.